Health PR practitioners are currently faced with some pretty tricky dilemmas. Given that COVID-19 is just absolutely dominating the news agenda, working out a strategy for that upcoming launch or announcement is really quite challenging. As the International Monitoring Service Stream recently pointed out, the way in which COVID-19 is dominating the news agenda means that the virus itself is essentially redefining the whole concept of blanket coverage. It's interesting that some of the tactics you might use to try and navigate circumstances where there's one issue which is dominating the news agenda aren't really working at the moment. Sometimes it makes sense to move your announcement from the weekday to the weekend because the competition is a bit less, uh, you've still got journalists looking for stories for Sunday newspapers and uh, you're just doing it at a time where there's more chance of uptake. But that makes particular sense in the current environment because you don't really have live sport to be competing with. But imagine if you decided to do that on Saturday morning, April the 4th, as a tactic for trying to sidestep all of the heavy news activity around COVID-19. On that morning, you would have been faced with competition from Brad Hazard's media conference where he was trying to explain the public health disaster, which was the Ruby Princess. You would have also been competing with the fact that news crews were starting to turn their attention to an anti-parasitic drug and the prospect of a clinical trial here in Australia to see if that might be a COVID-19 candidate. And also you've got high profile journalists updating live blogs for news.com and for Fairfax every 10 or 15 minutes. So they're reporting on the economic impact, the implications for the labor force, the rental market, a whole raft of things that are coming in every 15 minutes. The competition is just absolutely unwavering. So really, as you come to consider your media relations strategy, you need to reflect on whether the news value you've got is really strong enough to compete. It might be that you're better off pitching to lifestyle publications or longer lead, softer titles to give yourself a chance of some cut through. Or perhaps you want to focus more on your paid, your owned or your shared media. Or maybe show your support for community issues like social distancing, as some other companies have done. Or you could show your support for the frontline healthcare professionals who are doing such a fantastic job through the pandemic. In short, it's really just about being able to read the room, stay a bit flexible and focus on your people and show that you've got an interest in community issues. And that big news launch or announcement you've got, that might be more a candidate for paid, owned and shared media given the current environment.